There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world What's up, you guys? So this is going to be a real quick tutorial. Even though I always say it's real quick, it's about 10 minutes or less. So the company that I am going to show you once again this week is by Icy Hair. You can find them on Amazon. You guys know how I feel about Amazon. They've got amazing wigs as well as that. The prices are great. And plus, if you have Prime, then you get your stuff right on time so this lace front wig does come with three combs in the front a comb in the nape and an adjustable strap along with that i did pre-pluck and bleach the knots in this unit and it is an 18 inch body wave lace frontal i'll definitely put all of the information down below i did wash it and i did curl it off camera only because i didn't want to take so much of you guys this time but if you are really really interested in seeing how i achieve these curls you can definitely post your comments below and i promise I will definitely post a video tutorial on how I did these curls. I'll curl it on a mannequin head, but curling it on my own head does take longer. So you guys, you want to make sure that the lace wig does fit properly. And as you guys see here, I'm just checking the sides to make sure that none of the lace is over my ear. Because when the lace is over your ear, the wig is not going to fit to your expectations. So you got to make sure that it does. And for this one, it actually does. So I'm just going to get into it and cut the lace away at the hairline. I'm not going to cut too close to the hair because I don't want to lose any of the hair. You know, I don't really want that falling out. I already had a little bit of my own edges fall out. So girl, I am not trying to let the wig just fall out, you know So you just want to take your scissors. I prefer smaller scissors But if you feel lucky that day and you know them big scissors are not gonna cut anything extra then go right ahead So just take your scissors and just cut away and that's what I'm doing You can definitely get small scissors at Walmart You can get them at a craft store You can even get them at the Dollar Tree because they're just small They come with like tweezers and things like that. You can get them in a the kit so you don't have to get anything special so now to the best part, or it's not even the best part, but just some more. I'm just going to go ahead and just trim away. Now see, I did tell you guys there was a little bit of extra lace. Um, it, a little bit of the extra lace was over my ear. And though that's a little tiny bit that you see me cut off right there, it might not be a lot to you guys. But I'm telling you guys, trust me when I tell you, that little bit makes a huge difference because it will not allow the wig to sit properly it'll be on your ears and it'll be tight or not even tight it just won't fit properly just, just take my word for it so then once you've got that wig to fit properly go ahead and take your rat tail comb and make you some sideburn hairs like you don't really have to you don't have to listen to me but i'm just saying it would make a big difference and it will definitely make the wig look a lot cuter and more natural um this part is definitely optional this is just with some baby hairs or wispy hairs and the only reason why i'm doing that is because the lace isn't like the exact color and it's not transparent so i'm really trying to camouflage and hide any bit of the lace edges that i have so that's the reason why i'm using like wispy hairs or baby hairs or whatever you want to call them that's what i'm using now just to slick down and hold down my sideburn hairs i'm going to be using this infamous got to be glam force gel now i know a lot of you guys love that freeze blast hairspray and that that spike gel that's in the yellow tube i prefer this one along with their matching glam force 48 hour hairspray holding spray i prefer these products only because they dry faster and trust me i have been using these for a few months and i would not lie if i told you guys that i didn't like it then i didn't like it but if i tell you i do i do and this stuff really does hold like the hairspray really does hold plus it's great for adhering your wig you don't have to put a lot you don't have to use all that gel underneath your wig and then hairspray like that's just doing a lot so i just spray a little bit of the hairspray as you see me right behind the baby hairs or the wispy hairs onto directly onto the lace and then i take my blow dryer like right here and i blow dry the product but no worries if you don't have a blow dryer no worries you can allow this to air dry it does dry very quickly through air 
but when you're allowing it to air dry you just want to make sure you're pressing down on the lace so you want to spray a little bit at a time not so much but just a little bit and just allow it to sit and it will definitely dry fast you can just go ahead and allow it to sit and then just continue on with the opposite side and by the time you're done with the opposite side with cutting the hairs and such that particular side will already be dry so this hairspray does hold and dry quickly now for the baby hairs the wispy hairs the desired length is up to you. I don't really like them too long and I don't like a lot of baby hair so I don't like them too thick. You know, I don't like like a totally different hairstyle for my baby hairs. Like, you know, I don't really want a whole lot of baby hairs. I don't want enough baby hairs to where it looks like, you know, I got like a doobie going on or a bang or anything like that. I just try to keep them thin as possible. But you know, to each his own, you know, it's up to your preference and all I do is I just take that got to be fantastic styling mousse and I just put a little bit on the edges and then I just brush it into my hair you can use hairspray or if you want you can use gel the reason why I don't use the gel or anything that's too messy is because it's just too messy but I will spray a little bit of that hairspray as you see me spray on the toothbrush and brush my hair in that way I don't not spraying too much hairspray on the actual unit itself but I sprayed on the toothbrush that way I'll get a more precise you know spray I'm not making all the hair hard I'm just spraying on a toothbrush so I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to repeat the same steps on the opposite side and this way this side I did a little bit different prior to cutting the hairs I decided to spray the hairspray onto the lace and you can do it either way for some people spraying the hairspray first before cutting the baby hairs or the wispy hairs is a lot easier but either way whatever makes you feel more comfortable you know just do it but as for the hair quality of icy hair they do have some nice affordable units this is probably like five or six times that I've six times that I've worked with them they have an Amazon store they also have an AliExpress store they have some really good affordable bundle hair along with that some really good quality wigs so if you're looking for something and you're on a budget or you just want to add another unit to your wig collection then I would definitely say give them a try I do know that you know the units will last and when you do bleach the knots the knots lift really nicely so it's not an issue with that as for shedding I didn't really notice too much shedding the, the hairs that I did notice that did shed were like the hairs that I pre-plucked in the hairline you know after I pre-plucked the unit I just styled it I didn't wash it I just styled it so you know I did bleach it and then I washed it and then I styled it so you know and being that the lace is just a tad bit darker than my own complexion it's not really noticeable but I like to make everything like perfect I'm not really sure why sometimes I need to relax but yeah so I'm just gonna take some of my concealer cream concealer and I'm gonna dab that onto the areas where I feel like it's just a little bit darker and then I'm gonna go in with my Becca Cosmetics Hydra Mist setting powder I love this stuff girl let me tell you I love this stuff it gives you like this cooling sensation when you apply it but anyway I'll use that because it gives me like a good match and I know like right now on camera it probably doesn't look like it's a perfect match only because of the lighting but in person it does appear like really really close and as for the lace it's not that bad so I really didn't have to use the makeup but that's an alternative if you see that your lace is not matching perfectly even after bleaching because you're only bleaching the knots you're not bleaching the lace so your lace is not always going to come out perfect unless you tint it and sometimes then it doesn't but these are the curls it's really bouncy and full I just used a wand curler that was like an inch or so and now I'm going to just brush it out with my fake denim brush I call it a fake denim brush because it was at the Japanese dollar store so you know but it does the job girls let me tell you I should have bought more than one because this brush is amazing with really curly hair I love it but as far as this unit you do get a nice amount of hair the density is amazing I think it's either 150 um, I'm not really sure to be honest I'll definitely link everything below but for this portion I'm just going to kind of like try to loosen some of the curls because I didn't want them so tight I just curled it and left it for a couple days unpinned so this is how it looks I like how it came out affordable honey make sure you check them out I'll leave all the information below for you guys bye